It was when Dia, uh, it happened to Courtois, it happened to Militao as well. There is something there, you know, and in the past you can say, yeah, but they've been games in the past and they've been tours as well. Yeah, but the things that we put in the, the games and the tours and the World Cup in January, plus this, plus this, plus the international, so it's it's a lot. It's too much for the place. It's, uh, it's incredibly demanding, you know, when you see the next 36 months of the calendar for those players. It's just better not to look at it, you know, because it's it's incredible what they're gonna be have to be to be doing. So we have to look after them. But um, but yeah, as a club, when do you look after them? You know, to prioritize other competitions, and then we are uh, the ones that have to look after them. Um, we really need to be sitting down. But I think it's too late. At least for the next 36 months, it's too late already. So so I don't know who needs to raise um, a voice here, but um, there is. There are worries, big worries on that. Even was even talk of Davio being potentially a target as well. Could you, can you rule out, are you at the point where you can rule out any more defenders leaving just because the numbers you've got now? No, it's not, it's not any plans on, on doing anything like it. It's never my own decision. It's a decision that we made um, as a club with, with, uh, with a lot of people involved in that because there are a lot of elements to to that but uh, again my focus is on on just getting the best out of the score that that we have right now and and the focus we're in the middle of the competition we are open obviously in the transfer window both ways because we still have things to do both ways um, maybe but uh, but that's my aim i think it keeps growing uh, year by year and and you said new targets new demands he sets himself new targets new demands and and he seems to complete those you know it's a uh, it's extremely hungry and unwilling to, to learn to improve and, and become the player that, that decides game um, every three days. And that's what he has between his two eyes, you know, and he's very, very, very focused boy. And uh, he does everything to do that, the way he trains, the way he prepares himself, the way he lives his life. So very happy. So he needs to keep doing what he's doing. Well, we didn't plan, obviously, with this injury, you know, so uh, we have to assess now what the options are, what the best way to, to get the best out of the players that we have, because my, as I said, my biggest uh, challenge now is to get the best of the players that we have. I cannot control anything that is not here and, uh, and we are always open and we have to be always open to react if something happens, not only with an injury, but with the market as well. And that's what we are doing.